Hey Leos, Yana Speaks here and in this video I am doing your December 2020 love reading. Now I do want to start off by saying that all of my readings are general so they may or may not resonate with you because not every single Leo is going through the same exact thing. So um, if you find that this reading does not resonate then it would be in your best interest to go ahead and book a prior reading with me. All the information to do so will be in the description below. And I'm going to get started, okay? So I'm going to start off by asking Spirit, <clears throat> what is the overall energy for the sign of Leo this month? What is the Leo's overall energy this month in love? Okay, so we are starting off with the Ten of Wands. So I feel like you guys have reached your final straw with somebody, okay? Um, you know, with the Ten of Wands, you could feel burdened, you know, by this connection. You could feel like you're the only person that cares about the connection. You could feel like the connection is just on your shoulders. Maybe you're with someone where there's a lack of equal give and take, you know? Um, but I feel like you were just reaching your final straw, Okay. Then we have the Six of Swords. So I feel like you guys are ready to move on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're like, I'm tired of this. This is too much drama. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm carrying this whole entire thing by myself. I feel like I'm the only person that cares. No one else cares. And like I said, you reach your final straw. You're just ready to move on. You're you're ready for peace. You're like, I'm tired of the drama. I don't I don't want conflict anymore. I just want peace. But with the Ten of Pentacles, that might be easier said than done. Because maybe you have a family with this person, okay? Or if you don't have a family with them, maybe this is someone that you've been with for a long time and you guys have things joint together. Like, it's very... See, here's the difference between, like, regular relationships and, and like, marriages or relationships that have last a long time. Most of the time when you're with someone, y'all have things that are joint together. A lot of times it's financial things that's joint together. So... It can be harder when you guys have joint um, accounts or make money together, you're paying bills together. It makes it harder because you're essentially creating a life together. So this is the kind of situation you're in because it's like you're ready to move on, but it's easier said than done, you know? And maybe that's what kept you in this situation this long. But with the tower, it's too much turmoil here, you know? Um, I feel like with the tower, y'all been trying to make this relationship work for a very long time and it's just been deteriorating for the longest but you guys were ignoring it and then something crazy something very turbulent happened and now you're forced to see you're, you're forced to see this relationship for what it truly is and, and now it's like okay I, I can't do this anymore like this relationship is not built on a solid foundation I'm doing everything this person's not doing anything I'm the one that cares and this person don't care okay yeah, and you guys are ready to move on. And I feel like because you put so much into this, it's like you're ready to go. You know, you're ready to move on very fast, right? Some people may be like, dang, like, you're ready to get up out of there that fast. But I feel intuitively it's not so much of, <laughs> like, the speed of you wanting to move on. It's more so, like, you know that you've done everything that you could do to try to make this work, and it did not work. So a lot of times when you know you did everything that you can do, it makes it easier to walk away because you know you did everything that you can do, okay? Now, I feel with the Page of Wands, you could have been dealing with someone who is a bit immature. And see, what I'm picking up intuitively is like, this person, maybe they're like really inexperienced when it comes to committed relationships. There could be someone that maybe never been in other like committed relationships. This person could be like very immature compared to you. So it's almost like it was someone who was trying to be like an adult when they really like a kid at heart, right? So you're all about like building and growing and like, creating a family and like having structure and like 
creating a, a life for your children and your family and like a legacy. Whereas this person is trying to do that, but they really don't know what the hell they're doing. You know, it's almost like a child who's trying to be a, a grown ass woman or a grown man, but they're still a child. And that is the problem here. Um, I feel there's still like there's still some passion you feel for this person, but it's not enough to make you want to stay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hangman. Hey, it's like you just felt like things weren't moving forward. You felt like things were stagnant. Things weren't progressing. You know, you were in limbo. You're still kind of in limbo about this whole situation. It just it just wasn't going anywhere. Seven of Swords, you could feel like this person was deceptive. Maybe you felt like this person sold you a dream. Maybe this person told you they was going to do things that they didn't do. There could have been other people involved. But they're very deceptive, very fake, okay? And with the King of Swords, you know, maybe this person comes off nonchalant. You know, like they don't care. You know, this person is very hard for you to read. Um, this person is not the most expressive person. You probably could have felt like you weren't getting the love that you deserved from this person. Okay? So I am going to ask for how does this person feel about you currently? So how does this person feel about the Leos currently? The Five of Swords. So you guys could... Get into petty fights. You know, this person... I feel like this person is very petty. You know, I feel like this person is very immature. You know, but I feel like this person projects a lot. So, they're the immature one, but they'll say it's you. You know, if people ask them, oh, what happened between you and the Leo? They'll say it's you. You did this. You did that. But it's really them. They're really the problem. And you're the queen of pentacles. So, you know, they're the petty one, the childish one who's unsure of how they feel, you know, who <clears throat> starts stupid arguments over petty things. And you just, you stay grounded. You stay stable. Okay. You're more grounded and more stable than them. You're more mature than them. And deep down the side with the sun, you do make them happy. So the problem here is not you. Like, you're not the problem. They're the problem. Okay? Um, you got your stuff together. They don't. But instead of them just being honest with you and saying, like, yo, I'm a F up. And I need to get my stuff together. And I'm the problem, not you. They'll project and say it's you. And they feel trapped. They feel stuck because I feel like you're dealing with someone who, you know, them people that it don't matter how much you help them, they just could never get it together. With the eight of swords, I feel like this person is just a stuck person. It's like they just have a stuck mentality. You know what I'm saying? Like you could give them the world and they would still be stuck. They will still be stuck. This person is stuck in their mind. It's all in the mind, though, right? It's all in the mind. They have more opportunities than most people because you're helping them. Other people in their lives have helped them, but they don't take the help. They just stay stuck. They stay stagnant. And with the two of swords, there's indecision because they see that you're walking away and that you're done. And they're indecisive as to whether or not they should fight for you or they should just let you go we have the ten of wands too <clears throat> so they have kind of reached their final straw too not because you did anything wrong but because they know they cannot live up to what you want them to be and i feel like this person's been fighting against that it's almost like your whole relationship they've been an f up right but they've been fighting against the truth they don't want to believe that they're f up right but now they gotta realize like you know what i'm i have reached my final straw like i am tired of disappointing the leo i'm tired of being an f up i'm tired of pretending that i'm gonna be something that i'm not i gotta be real with myself that i can't give the leo what they want and with justice i feel 
I almost feel like this person feels like you're justified by doing what you're doing, by walking away from them. They feel like you walking away is like their karma. I feel like this person is understanding it. They could also be going through some tough times because of <clears throat> things they've done in the past. The karma that they're um, they're receiving as well. Okay. So I am going to ask for what is... Matter of fact, I'm going to ask for this one question. Is this relationship even worth holding on to? Yeah, the Queen of Cups, Three of Swords, the Ace of Swords. I don't feel like this relationship is worth fighting for because I just feel like you guys are not equally yoked. I feel like if you stay in this, it's just going to lead to you just, you know, being heartbroken. I do feel, though, that you need to express your truth, though. I feel like if you say how you feel to this person, it'll help you to move on. There's something that you want to say to them. There's, there's, there's more truth that needs to be revealed from you so that you can have your closure and that you could just move forward. So I'm going to ask for it for some advice. What advice do you guys have for the Leos? What advice do you have? Deception. Someone is wearing a false mask, a self mask in this relationship. We have wedding. The situation involves a marriage. And then we have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualization help help bring you together. So I feel like a lot of you have been going to the universe about this. And a lot of you have been asking the universe to bring the person that is your soulmate, the person that's made for you. Um, to come towards you. And because this person is not the person you're supposed to end up with, the universe is helping you to, to move on from this person so that you can be with the person that you're meant to be with. So I'm going to end this reading here. I do hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, share it with someone else, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.